a billboard battle. This gun control message put up just days ago is already gone. Those billboards were supposed to replace the, the huge one. It's the message along the Mass Pike behind Fenway Park that you see. It's gone. The billboard needs to come down because the building has now been sold. But as Bill Shields tells us, pressure from gun rights groups has shot down that plan. If you drive on the pike, you can't miss it, or the message that guns kill Americans. That billboard was owned by this man, John Rosenthal. I've been a gun owner my whole adult life. But the building sold, so he bought space on other billboards for a simple message, that Massachusetts gun laws work. So the billboard was simply a way of saying, we're not anti-gun, we're pro-life, and Massachusetts gun laws save lives. Clear Channel owns the billboards, and now the gun messages have been taken down. Pressure from the NRA and a Massachusetts group called Gun Owners Action League. They say the billboards were patently false. Uh, since the 1998 gun laws have been put into effect that this organization actually supported, gun-related homicides have doubled and gun-related assault injuries have tripled. Well, Jim Wallace lies because we are the NRA's worst nightmare. Massachusetts has proven that gun laws work. So now the message is gone, replaced by the usual commercial stuff. Jim Wallace says it wasn't because of NRA pressure. If you're going to supposedly be a firearm safety organization, then you need to be truthful about what you're telling the public. And those billboards simply are not truthful. Clear Channel is based out of Texas, so you can bet that these Massachusetts billboards will remain controversy free. But you can also bet this fight is not over. It's August, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.